Yeah, your boy Tony Vicali, once again, HP TV, bringing it to you live, helping people TV. We're here, once again, at the National Association of Broadcasters, but today is the National Association of Broadcasters because I'm the brother right here, broadcasting, bringing it to you live. We're going to show you one of the old school cameras. This was an old school RCA, um, old school camera. I used to have a company last year called Old School TV, and this would have been perfect for, for that. Oh, man, it's actually hooked up. It's got the black and white monitor. Wow. This baby is actually hooked up. It's got all kind of tubes and transistors in, in here, I'm, I'm sure. Not transistors. I'd like to get one of the spokespersons. Can one of you guys come over and tell us a little bit about it? Because I'm just Tony from Cali. And like I said, for the people that don't know me, we're going to tell you who we are in a minute. Come on over here. One of you guys. I, I talk to you guys every year. How are you doing today, sir? How are you doing? And I'm what's good. your name? I'm good. I'm Tom. Welcome to my show today. Hey. HBTV. Hi. And uh, tell the people a little bit about this camera. Well, this camera is uh, the later of the two cameras we have here. The original design in the older camera was from 1952. Yep. All right. And this camera here was a later camera that duplicated it, came out in about 1963. Uh, this was done for people who wanted something that was compatible with the old stuff. But the camera back here from 1952 uh, was something that was actually pretty standard in a lot of TV stations right up until the time that the TV station went color. So have a look at this. It uses vacuum tube circuitry. It's black and white. There was no color in 1952. Uh, and this isn't the whole thing because it needs this stuff over here where we have the camera processing and it needs a power supply. So when we brought these cameras out here, we shipped two cameras and their wire and their support equipment and it was a total of 1200 pounds so if you're in video and you're doing something with cameras think about doing a two camera shoot where the two cameras weigh 1200 pounds total 1200 pounds yeah or imagine carrying something like this up through a stadium so you could do a high shot or something so where do you get the parts for this uh, eBay, maybe, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes we have to make the parts. Okay. You know, some of the mechanical stuff we have machined. Okay. Uh, and there's just some stuff that we just can't find. So we have... Because I see all the tubes and stuff. Oh, yeah, tubes you can get. You can still get tubes? You can still get tubes. Resistors. Yeah, um, yeah, but don't get your hands in there now. Yeah, yeah, you can high still voltage. see resistors. You can still get transformers. No, like transformers that. are tough. You can't get transformers? They can't get transformers, okay. yeah. Because both of these have defective transformers, so they're they're not quite right in two kind of different ways. Okay, I grew up with this, all this technology a little yeah, bit. Yeah, well, well, back in the '80s, I grew up with it. Yeah, but, uh, well, most people that had moved on by the '80s, but most so people when they went color was the so time. Those are the actual camera monitors. These are. This is so actually so the other half of the camera, because some of the, the processing monitor? is in these. Okay. Uh, and then the power is coming out of these, so the whole camera is this, and this, and that or that, and this, and that. So it's, okay. it's, there's a lot of stuff. That's great. Wow. Yeah. How much did a system like this cost back then? Well, in 1952, say $15,000. Uh -huh. So we looked that up, and you could have bought five Cadillacs for the same amount of money, or you could have bought 15 Fords. So think about that. All right. Thank well, you. I'm gonna tell you who I am. Um, this is HPTV. My name is Tony. Tony from Cali. Who we got there? We got some people out there. We got Ryan out there. We got uh, uh, Laura out there. And HPTV stands for Helping People TV. So what I do is I go to the community. I go throughout the community. I talk to people, and I definitely go to the bro uh, broadcasters convention every day, every every, every year. Yeah. So I'm here every year. You've been here before. I've been here before. I, I've seen some of the old equipment. Last time you guys had the. Uh, uh, the tape machines out here. Yes, yes. And this year it's cameras. This year it's all cameras, and I love it. So thank you so much for being thank on the you. show. Thank you for coming. All right. You didn't ask me what I do. Oh, what do you do? Computer animation, three-dimensional holographic, digital video broadcaster of my reality show, Tony from Cali Reality, born in 1963, all in HD here at NAB. Well, thank you, man. Well, camera came out the year you were born. 1963. This one right here. I'm going to get a couple more shots of that. Thank you so much, man. All righty. So once again, we still Facebook Live, everybody. He said this camera right here came out the year that I was born, so I definitely want to get some more shots of this, okay? So this is a big baby right here. This was the RCA. It came out the same year that I was born, and I love it. And this is what I would have been doing back in the day. Um, this is all black and white right here. I'm looking at black and white. I'm looking at, um, you can, man, this, let me put on the headset. 
from the headset. This is the way they So this is what I would have looked like in 1963, okay? Can y'all see me? So once again, we live here, Facebook Live here. This is the first um, exhibit that we're looking at today at the NAB show, and today is the 24th of April, 2017. So once again, I'm your boy Tony Vicali, HPTV. Who else we got out there? We still live, I'm letting you know we got, oh, okay. Talon, I see you out there once again from Sacramento, and whoever else is out there, we're gonna be looking at more of the show. Actually, um, let me turn around here, I'm just gonna give you an idea so you can see how many people are here at the show. I know I'm going a little fast, but we on my, um, my mobile cart here, and uh, I think this might be good right here. Okay, hello, how you doing? The fries look good. <laughs> All right, so once again, like I said, the show is gonna be huge. I'm out here doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, cooling off, I need to actually give me some food. I actually brought me a lunch today, because you know, food can get a little pricey out here. So I got like sandwiches and stuff like that. And you know I got my grape soda. You already know how I roll when it comes to that. So once again, this is HPTV bringing to you live at the National Association of, once again, Broadcasters Convention. Really broadcasters, but we are brother right now, broadcasting on a budget, doing our thing, bringing it to you live, and um, I got some other things I, I gotta work on too. So I got a couple cameras set up right now on my system. I wish I could show you the whole system right now, but we're not unable to do that right now. I could possibly show you the whole system, but don't worry about it. Um, see who's out there live. How you guys doing? Once again, HPTV. We're, gonna, we're in the community. We're going to be out here, like I said, talking to people, talking to vendors. Um, my goal today is um, actually we're going to look at some of the, maybe the camera uh, vendors today. So we're going to probably look at Sony. We're going to look at Panasonic, maybe Canon, JVC, that type of thing. Look at some of their new innovative um, broadcaster cameras that are out right now for broadcasting. So we're going to look at that. And then we're also going to look at a lot of the uh, uh, action cameras and things like that. And um, that's about it. So I'll get back with you, and then tomorrow, day two, we're going to probably look at software. So we'll look at a lot of software developers. Um, we'll maybe go, go and look at some of the hardware and software developers, um, Blackmagic, Livestream, and um, all your digital solutions for live streaming video, that type of thing. People want to know what's going on, so that's what I try to do. I try to bring them, you know, information. Who else just jumped in? There? Joe Marquez, how you doing, man? We got Joe Marquez just joined. That's my boy. Like I said, NAB, this is how I cover it. You know what I'm saying? Covering it live. And this is what I'm doing. So hopefully you guys tell me how the audio is uh, sounding. Um, I'm going to run it back and check this before I do any more live uh, events. Or I'll just post some stuff later on so you'll be able to see some of um, what we're covering. But I'm your boy Tony Vicali. Doing it live. Boom. You want to see the credentials just to keep it real? Because everybody be thinking I snuck in. I didn't sneak in. Boom. Tony from Cali. And that's what it is. Broadcasting right here in the middle of the lobby. You know, a lot of people here, thousands of people here, thousands of broadcasters and broadcasters. And once again, I'm your broadcaster. And for the people that don't know what I do, computer animation, three-dimensional holographic, digital video broadcast, special effects engineer, slash senior audiovisual engineering, telecommunications specialist, slash broadcaster of the reality show, Tony Focali Reality, born in 1963, all in HD. And we are right now, once again, live, Facebook Live. I got some people over here. Come on over here. I want to I talk to these guys right here. I got some guys over here. They was checking everything out. What you guys think about my mobile broadcast we system? Love it. We're impressed. I've never like seen that? something like it before. You've never seen anything like that. Is it your concoction? I just built that this morning, 4 o'clock this morning. Okay. Way to go. No, actually, I built it at uh, about 9 o'clock this morning. About 9 o'clock this yes, morning. Yes, sir. And I, uh, for four hours, I built it. Wicked. Yeah, you like that? You're inventive. So I got everything on there. I got my lunch in there. I got extra batteries. You see my USB ports over there. I got like 10 USB ports. So you need to charge your phone. You need to charge your phone. Go ahead and charge it. You know, $3, $3 for three minutes, whatever. Wow. So are you going, are you streaming right now? We are streaming right now. We are on Facebook Live right now. Look, Love look, it. Look at so yeah, impressed. Okay. So I impressed. Multiple cameras too. I got multiple cameras, so I can actually get other shots and stuff, and I can actually control the camera. If I want to do a wide shot over here, or I want to zoom in that person. I have that ability to do that too, as a uh, as a as a director. I can actually direct the video, but it's kind of hard to do the microphone and you know be your uh, camera direct. You know, We've it's hard find, to do. I wanted to so find the Facebook it. Live pavilion or booth or wherever they're located, and I can't find them on the map. You're going to probably look in the South Hall. We're in North Hall right now. Yep. North Hall covers a lot of, um, trying to see, this is things. broadcasting things. Uh, the Central Hall is usually cameras and stuff like that. And then South Hall is usually post. your, yeah, all your post stuff. So Facebook is somewhere in the South Hall. I believe so. We'll have a look. I, mean, I could be wrong, but, you know, you just check it out. Uh, it should be, you, you can't find a map or a kiosk. I've got it on an app on my phone, but it just didn't, it didn't help. So where are you guys from? 
New Brunswick, Canada. Okay. Yeah, so we're a little distance away. They had okay. some snow on the weekend. We're happy to be down here. Where are you from? I'm from Sacramento originally, but I live out here in Las Vegas. I've been out here for, been out here for about 15, 16 years. And um, ask me what I do. What do you do? Computer animation, three-dimensional holographic, digital video, broadcast special effects engineer, slash senior audiovisual engineering telecommunication specialist, slash broadcaster of my reality show, Tony from Cali Reality, born in 1963, all in HD, Facebook Live, and once again, HPTV stands for Helping People TV. What y'all think about that? God bless you. Thank you. Pleasure. Find the day. Facebook booth. I'm going to see you guys out there. That sounds good. And we still Facebook Live. Once again, thank you so much. So that's what I do. For the people that don't know, a lot of people don't know. And um, like I said, I'm out here. We're going to check the range real quick. So I'm going to walk back here. Tell me if, uh, if I lose some quality because we have to. I didn't get a mic, uh, frequency list from these guys when I got here. You usually get a frequency list, and you want to know how many, you know, how bad, the, how, um, what frequencies you're, you're not going to cross over. So tell me how this sounds. One, two, three, one, two, three. Check, 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 check. Still testing. Checking the range. I'm about 25, 30 feet away, and uh, still good, hopefully. So. This is all a test. Once again, this is my introduction to NAB 2017. And like I said, for the people that don't know what I do, you already, you already know. You should know by now if you don't know. HPTV, boom. We're branding it real big time today. I got the signs on the mobility cart. We're going to show you some of that. You know what? I'm trying to think how I can show you that. Um, I'll manually show you that. I'll post it in a little bit and kind of show you what the cart looks like. But this is your boy Tony from Cali. Once again, keeping it real, HPTV. Actually, you know what? I can break away and show you what the car looks like from here. Just thought about that. So just bear with me for a minute. Oops, I lost my audio. Hopefully you can still hear me. So this is what the car looks like. So what are you talking That's what everything looks like, folks. So that's what the entire cart looks like. Once again, we still have Facebook Live. Hopefully you can hear the audio right here, and that's my cart. So last year we, uh, we took the, the, the actual riding mobility cart, and this time I built this one this morning so that we could actually do what we need to do. And um, it's not perfect, but it definitely gets the job done. And this is the Bro Pro camera that was designed this morning. I actually designed it, this camera last night. And this is doing most of our broadcasting. Okay, so anyway, you get an idea of what everything looks like. Once again, we still Facebook Live. I'm your boy Tony Cali, and we are out. Facebook Live, everybody, folks, and we out. This is the old way of doing Facebook Live. This way, most people, the average people, average person does Facebook Live like this. Okay, but we out.